Hi everybody, it's Gail the Happy Stamper from thehappystamper.com. Hope you're having a great Friday. I am doing better every day, getting stronger. And I wanted to make a thank you card for a very sweet friend of mine. And I thought I'd share with you uh, the stamp sets and the card that I made. So here we have it. This is a sweet little thank you card for my dear friend Mary Beth that brought dinner over for my family yesterday. And um, it just meant the world to me. For friends on Facebook, you could read you know, the post and all the other wonderful comments my friends and her friends have to say about her. But, you know, honestly, sometimes friends can be kinder to you than family. And um, it's, it's just amazing to me how she stepped up and, you know, put my needs and my family's needs before her own. And so I'm grateful for that as I am also grateful for all of you. So thank you for watching and all your support. But I'm going to show you how I made this darling card. So let's get started. First off, I used this hostess set. It's called Love You Lots and it's adorable. What really got me was these cute little hedgehogs when I first saw it. Although I am an elephant nut, our son's, our first son's uh, nursery was all done in elephants. I love ladybugs who can't resist a cute frog and the sentiments. You're always there for me. Love you lots. Thank you, friend, and you. They're perfect. And then I'm also using, once again, you guys are going to get sick of seeing me use this set, but I really love it. Kind of eclectic, and I couldn't resist the sun. So, um, I've got my papers all pre-cut for you here, and I've got my measurements, so let me give you those, and we'll get started. All right, so my base piece of cardstock, which is our really red, is eight and a half by 11, and it's cut at five and a half. And I'm just going to score this. I'm gonna fold it and score it in half right now. And these bone folders make such a nice crease. All right, our next layer is going to be four by five inches. That's gonna layer on the front. My image sheet is three and three quarters by four and three quarters, and that's what I'm gonna stamp my little guy on. And then I also have a one inch by three and three quarters. This is gonna be my grass. And for the grass, I'm gonna be using our fringe scissors, which I love also, and you'll probably get sick of seeing me use that. So while I have that here, I'm just going to cut this piece quickly it's very easy and makes really great grass. Easy peasy. You can also use this to make confetti if you are making shaker cards. So they're really very handy and I have used them several times on different projects and I really like them. For 10 bucks, you can't beat it. All right, I just used some snail adhesive and I am going to take my Whisper White panel and I am just going to lay my grass along the bottom. Now I cut it a little bit long just so I could trim it to the exact size of my white cardstock, like so. All right. So I'm going to set these pieces aside for a minute and I'm going to do my stamping. Now I like to use our Memento Black ink. It gives a really crisp uh, impression and I have to have that with my two little ladybugs. Ladybugs. They're so cute. And I'm just going to put them down here on the right a little bit and just give it a moment to transfer. All right. Now I also stamped a cute little red heart because I love my Mary Beth. She is one of the kindest people I've ever met and it's so true how the people who have the least to give, give the most. I mean, just an amazing woman and an inspiration to so, so many. 
All right, I'm going to come in with Daffodil Delight and I'm going to ink up my sun because I love this sun. It is just, I don't know, it makes me happy and it's really versatile. If you saw my previous video from the other day, it um, served as a uh, firework. Sorry, I'm still on medication, so I kind of, I'm a little bit of a fog, but I'm trying to not have to take it. I don't like taking pills, and uh, so yeah, I'm still a little foggy. All right. Oh, that's so cute. And then I'm going to come back in with my Memento Black ink. And I'm going to st stamp my word. And it says, you are always there for me. Because my girl is. Wow. Okay, it's a little blurry. But I'm going to keep going just because... Um, I'll have to redo it. And I've redone this video, you guys, like, I can't tell you how many times. So I'm not going to stop to redo it right now, but I am going to color and keep going. So, uh, like I said, I'm still a little wonky here and um, a little bit dizzy. So you'll have to pardon the little wonky card stamping there. <laughs> and I'm just going to color my little ladybugs in because this is going to be me and Miss MB when we're old walking in the grass. Yeah, that's going to be us. <laughs> and then I took my little black and I just made little dots and kind of made a curly cue, you know, almost like it's a little trail that the girls are making. Yeah. Okay. Then lastly, I took some Daffodil Delight and this little punch that I, I don't know why they discontinued it, but I really like it. I plan on continuing to use it. Um, so I'm sure you can find something similar if you check on eBay or um, like at Michael's, you know, your local craft store, something like that. All right. I can't see real super well here, so I can't see these little glue dots. Eesh. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. All right, and I'll put that one there. And then I love these candy dots. They're so fun. These are the bright ones. And let me just grab, where's my little pokey? I'm going to use the red ones that are on here. And put them on my flowers for little flower centers. You could also use the rhinestone ones, but I didn't want anything blingy on this. It's, you know, it's, I want the focus to be the little ladybugs. I didn't want anything distracting or shiny or anything like that, just like so. All right, then I'm going to apply this layer to my black piece. And we're almost done, you guys. Very quick and easy little card. Boy, that is really... Um, not stamped well, my verbs, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll redo that layer. So there you have it, you guys. That is my cute little You're Always There For Me card from my sweet friend, Mary Beth. That's the first one that I did. So I hope you like this card. And if you are lucky enough to have a sweet friend like I do, cherish them and let them know how much you appreciate them. All right, guys, I appreciate all of you. Have a wonderful weekend. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below, and I will see you in my next video. All right, bye, guys.